Hi and welcome. My name is Catherine Lucarelli. I'm a senior product manager at T2 Biosystems. And today I'm going to run through a product demo of the T2 DX instrument with you after talking about optimizing sepsis management with T2 Biosystems. And for our product demo today, as you can see, I am not in a microbiology lab, nor do I have one in my home, but I'm going to show you a series of virtual video clips which will help us understand the process of assembling a panel and how simple it is to run it on the T2DX instrument. Also, today's discussion is meant to be open, so please stop me and ask questions throughout the presentation. So with that, if you aren't familiar with T2 Biosystems, we offer the first and only FDA cleared diagnostic tests for the detection of sepsis causing bacterial and fungal pathogens and we do that directly from whole blood. So if you're familiar with the blood collection process, this is a 4 ml K2 EDTA sample collection tube. We actually run our test directly from the sample collection from the patient using whole blood. We do not need to wait first for a positive blood culture. And I'll get into that a little bit because it's part of what we do and it's part of what makes T2 Biosystems test so unique. Results are available in just hours of the first patient blood draw, and they can be run before a positive blood culture. Proprietary T2 magnetic resonance molecular technology is what allows us to do this. It allows us to run a test directly from whole blood without the need to wait. And that T2 MR technology helps to identify five of the most prevalent bacterial and fungal pathogens within three to five hours of being processed on the T2DX instrument. So faster is better, that's great, but why does that matter? At the end of the day, we wanna be able to enable change. So when it comes to sepsis, every hour for the patient counts. Rapid and accurate species identification can enable clinical changes and can improve patient outcomes. With T2 Biosystems test panels, results are rapidly available to inform decisions regarding therapy, and they offer highly valuable data sooner and at a critical point in the clinician's workup for patients suspected of sepsis. T2 Biosystems believes in enhancing the standard of care. So today, if you're familiar with the testing that goes on for patients suspected of sepsis or patients who are suspected of a bloodstream infection, it relies on a positive blood culture before subsequent identification can take place. Species identification post positive blood culture in total can take two to seven days when accounting for one to five of those days relating to growing the species in a blood culture. Unlike blood culture, T2 panels are run directly from whole blood, so you do not need to wait for the positive blood culture first and they're not inhibited by previously administered antimicrobials, and they also offer high sensitivity and specificity to give physicians confidence in their decisions. So we're not asking you to replace blood culture. T2 Biosystems actually runs concordantly with blood cultures that are drawn, but T2 Biosystems believes that you can utilize the time spent waiting for subsequent testing by targeting prevalent species sooner, with results often available before the second dose of broad spectrum antibiotics is delivered. That offers a critical point in time before that second dose where a clinician can make decisions regarding the treatment of a patient, can decide to target therapy, can decide on a lot of clinical outcomes, but they can't do that without data-driven results. T2 Biosystems can offer data-driven results before that second dose of broad-spectrum treatment. So sepsis accounts for nearly one out of every two to three hospital deaths, and patient survival decreases roughly 7.6% for every hour that targeted therapy is delayed. With T2 Biosystems, the identification of the most common sepsis-causing species is available within hours through a simple, easy-to-implement workflow. So to provide some data about how T2 Biosystems enhances the standard of care, we have a recent meta-analysis which consists of 14 controlled studies and highlights the benefits of T2 Biosystems 
MR molecular diagnostics compared to blood culture when managing sepsis. The meta-analysis demonstrates real and tangible outcomes that can be achieved when using T2 test panels to identify bacterial and fungal pathogens with high confidence often days before blood culture. The studies confirm that the utilization of T2 MR for the identification of bloodstream infections provides faster time to detection, faster transition to targeted treatment, faster de-escalation of empiric therapy, and shorter intensive care and hospital stay versus current blood culture standard. So again, thinking about enhancing the standard and really looking at some of these data points, faster to time to detection for both detection and species identification was almost three days faster, or more than three days faster with T2 technology. That provides targeted therapy sooner. And the data points show that T2 MR allowed for de-escalation from empirical therapy seven hours faster than blood culture, while T2 MR promoted targeted antimicrobial therapy 42 hours faster than blood culture. And targeted therapy sooner, that equates to reduced length of stay for the patient and the potential for improved outcomes. So redu reduced length of stay data points that were seen from the meta-analysis include five days shorter stay in the ICU for patients when testing with T2 MR versus blood culture, and overall 4.8 days shorter within the hospital in general. So if we're thinking about the US and the cost of healthcare in the US, we know that a single day in the ICU is between four and $5,000. T2MR offers the opportunity for hospital cost savings, maximization of already constrained staffing resources, and improved patient well being with less time being spent in the hospital and ICU. So, to achieve those demonstrated outcomes that were shown in the meta analysis, the T2DX instrument can be used to run all of the T2 Biosystems test panels. The T2DX is fully automated. It's a benchtop molecular instrument that does not require any sample preparation or allocation and can be run with minimal hands-on time per sample for your laboratory staff. During today's virtual demo, I will show you how simple it is to operate the T2DX instrument with some help from my virtual videos and we will run the following panels, or I will talk about how you can run the following panels on our instrument. So these panels make up the currently available portfolio from T2 Biosystems in the US. The first panel we have is T2 Canada, which is for the detection of the most common and most lethal sepsis causing fungal pathogens, where currently 40% of those infections are missed by traditional blood culture. Also, with a limit of detection of one to three colony forming units per milliliter, T2 Canada is able to detect very low levels of candidemia in the bloodstream as compared to blood culture. The species that are found on the T2 Canada panel are Candida albicans, Candida tropicalis, Candida parapsilosis, Candida cruzi, and Candida glabrata. Next, we have T2 bacteria. T2 bacteria helps to detect five targeted species for sepsis causing bacterial pathogens. These are known to be common causes of bloodstream infections and are often seen in the emergency department. They're highly resistant to empiric therapy, making them very difficult to treat without a targeted approach. And they're very costly, both in terms of lives and healthcare resources. On T2 bacteria, we can identify Enterococcus basium, Staphylococcus aureus, Klebsiella pneumoniae, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and E. coli. And lastly, I'm sure nobody is new to the idea that we are still dealing with the global pandemic, which is the COVID virus. So T2 SARS-CoV-2 is the T2 biosystems response to the COVID virus. It's a rapid PCR and T2 MR technology, which has been authorized for emergency use by the FDA and results are available within two hours from placing the test on board the T2DX instrument. So with that, I will get into the T2DX instrument demo. Before we start, we'll need a few things to help us. Um, I'm demoing today the T2 bacteria test. 
It's also shown on the screen. So first you'll need a four milliliter draw of whole blood in a K2 EDTA collection tube. This can be drawn by the phlebotomist or can be drawn patient bedside as long as it is collected in an aseptic technique similar and concordant to the blood cultures being collected from the patient. Next, you will need a cartridge, which I've also shown. This cartridge here contains the consumables that you'll need to run the test. You'll also have a reagent tray. This reagent tray here shows the T2 bacteria reagent tray, which contains the reagents within each well. And lastly, a sample inlet. So the sample inlet is used to disperse the sample from the K2 EDTA tube into our sample reservoirs, which then will be pipetted from once the panel is on board the instrument. Okay, so as a microbiologist or a laboratorian running the T2 bacteria panel, we first need to prepare our work area. So we will decontaminate our work area. We'll have fresh gloves on and we will need a cleaning decontaminant solution, which will saturate onto a lint-free wipe. That solution contains a percentage of bleach and you wipe in a unidirectional motion to prevent contamination as you do this across your work surface and the T2DX instrument. When you're done with that, you'll make sure that the T2DX instrument is running after also repeating that process with 70% isopropyl alcohol. That is our clean down preparation of our workbench area and now we're ready to assemble our panel. So first we need to prepare our reagents. Each reagent tray can be prepared either by shaking the reagent tray or optionally by vortexing. Today we're going to show how to shake the reagent tray to homogenize all of the fluids. And if there's air bubbles remaining, we're going to tap that against the surface to disperse them. The reagent tray finally gets snapped into place with the cartridge and now you have fully assembled your reagent tray and cartridge together. Next, sample preparation. Very simple, I mentioned there is really no sample preparation other than homogenizing the sample. So we need to make sure that the blood sample is homogenized. It may have been in storage or in transport, invert the tube eight to 10 times, and then take off the cap, fix the inlet or the straw snorkel on top of the tube, flip the assembly and wait for the reservoirs to fill. Once the reservoirs have filled, you can go ahead and attach the cartridge and sample inlet together. After that has finished, you've now fully assembled your reagent tray, cartridge kit, and sample together, and we're ready to load the panel on board the instrument. So using our touch screen, there will be five easy prompts that you will follow along with. You'll scan the sample, the reagent, and the cartridge kit barcodes. Then you'll remove the label from the top of the T2 bacteria cartridge to reveal the consumables. And then you'll re you're removing the cartridge, sorry, the reagent lid on top of the reagent tray. Everything will be fully loaded into the instrument and automatically pulled inside. From that point forward, it's just three to five hours until you have a result, depending on the utilization of the instrument at that time. And that is it. So as I mentioned, the T2DX instrument is fully automated. It's a walkaway instrument. Your laboratorian can move on to other tasks that they have in the lab. We all know how busy they can be, um, especially as resources in our healthcare systems right now are pressed for time and strapped for staffing. So this is a very simple instrument to use. You can walk away and within three to five hours, you will have results for those five bacteria pathogens or for five related candida fungal pathogens. So thank you for joining me today. If there are any questions, please let me know or reach out to T2 Biosystems and we would be happy to answer them for you. Thank you so much for your time today.